We'll get started here. Thanks for joining us on a Friday. I was gonna say, uh oh, I'm locked up, but we're rolling now. We'll watch a short video here that'll allow people to uh, filter in and then we'll get to the beef of it. Through innovative solutions, applications, and quality products, FMC has been a trusted partner for turf professionals. We're dedicated to meeting customer needs and helping solve new challenges which may arise. This commitment is what brought our newest turf insecticide, Durentis, to life. Delivering the performance you demand, we're dedicated to solving turf issues with our people and our pipeline of proprietary chemistry. We're always listening to our customers, uh, golf course superintendents and lawn care operators, and we're trying to provide them with the innovations that you can trust and the people that you can count on so they can put down a reliable insecticide offering for control of target pests in their markets. Recently in the golf industry, uh, you know, we've introduced Serata, Kalita, um, Rayora. Dorentis will be the newest offering to come into that space. Well, the discovery process uh, always begins with an idea. From the discovery of the lead molecule uh, to commercial launch of chloramphenilaprol, it took approximately six to seven years, which was a very short time by the standards at, at that point. It was just an incredible speed we had. We were looking for something that uh, had the right properties so that it would not uh, move in the environment or move in the water table. And so it's not just biological activity. It's a variety of attributes that you have to finely tune to find the optimum, the best compound to bring forward. When we started uh, the process of looking for a compound in this uh, space of, uh, of insecticide. And so the properties we were trying to optimize then were beyond obviously safety, or how well it's like distributed on the leaf surface, whether it penetrated a leaf surface. So Durensis will be able to be applied for all species of grub, Japanese beetles, June beetles, European mass chafers, etc. cetera. Uh, but also the, those key lepidopteran pests, you know, fall on worms, uh, side web worms, black cut worms. And then really, you know, having that season-long potency that'll be available for not only the coleopteran pests, but also those lepidopteran pests as well. Dorentis will allow an early application, which may be applicable for timing to align with fertilizer applications and pre-emergence, you know, really helping the operational change for these you know, lawn care operators specifically to apply product um, earlier in the season for season-long growth control. In addition to all the chemical benefits that uh, Durentis gives, it also gives a much needed flexibility. You typically get about a six to eight week window of application. With Durentis, if you're ahead or behind, it offers you a much larger window for application allowing for seizing lawn control. In the lawn care market, flexibility is one of the most important aspects so that you could get efficient routing as well as greater efficacy the combination of safety that this molecule has and uh, coupled with the potency, coupled with the broad spectrum, we just believe that there were going to be many applications yet to be tapped into. When you start in this job, you say, I want to get a commercial product. But you don't imagine that the commercial product that you discover will become the biggest selling insecticide in the world. You know, that's, that's beyond the realm of any hope. I mean, we took something relatively moderately active and turned it into the, the most active insecticide ever discovered. As lawn care operators, it's important to be stewards of the environment. Durentis does not have a signal word as well as it has less environmental impact. And that should always be top of mind when choosing a product for your program and any applications. I've been in this industry for 40 years. I've seen a lot of successful products. And this one really set a new bar for us. So once we got into the marketplace, sales took off and it just has been an extraordinary product around the world. So yeah, very, very proud of that and very happy that it was as successful as it was. Through continuous innovation, we're committed to providing novel solutions that enable lawn and golf professionals to do more. After all, we're in this together and the only factor that determines our success is yours. So we'll get into the bulk of this now. So really we're here for two reasons. Uh, one, this is a map of neonicotinoid under legislative pressure here in the United States. And you can see where the yellow is prior legislation 
against neonics. This slide actually needs updated because uh, the state of Washington should be yellow. And the re red states there are uh, have bans against neonics. So it is under scrutiny. Uh, the other reason we're here is uh, we've been selling this active ingredient on the ag space for quite some time, but it has been licensed in the TNO space by someone else. That license ran out a couple years ago, so we sought registration for our own chlorantranilipril uh, product to put in this market. In the TNO space before, that active ingredient was worth about $40 million a year. In the agriculture space, this is a billion dollar a year molecule. So that enables us to bring it to you at a, in an innovative product and at a price point that uh, maybe expands its market in golf and brings it into the lawn care space more than it already is. So this active ingredient, chlorantranilipril, uh, in this Dorentis package is at 48%. It's a higher load than other chlorantranilipril products that are on the market and a low use rate. It's control of all grub species, uh, but it gets surface feeders on the front end and webworms, cutworms, and fall army worms on the back end. Uh, there is no signal word, environmental uh, favorable environmental profile, low pollinator impact, uh, and we do have it available. I'll have a slide at the end that shows it packaging up and, and ready to be shipped. So how does chlorantranilipro work? So it is systemic. It is not a contact. It does have to be ingested by the insect. Uh, once that happens, uh, that active ingredient starts depleting uh, calcium from these riodine receptors, which causes paralysis and causes the insect to or larvae to stop eating immediately. Uh, we have some data where the beet armyworm, a very close relative to the armyworm, stops eating and dies in seven minutes. So it is very quick uh, once it... Uh, gets ingested, but it is systemic and not contact. The mammalian tox toxicology on this is so thick uh, and so good that there is uh, no warning on it. Minimal PPA uh, is required and uh, no pollinator signal word on it. I can't see the right side of my screen because I have people on it, uh, but once again, low rate uh, and lo low water volume. There's no water volume a requirement on our label. So on the left of this screen here, you'll see uh, the insects that it's very good at. This top part is anything you'd ever ask for out of a neonic, uh, but this particular active ingredient gives you season long, so it picks up those army worms, cut worms, and side wound worms at the end of the season. Uh, for the insects on the right, uh, it, it is labeled for them, but needs a little help. Uh, we're in transition zone. You know, I'm not sure in the transition zone other than Louisville uh, or Lexington if the annual bluegrass weevil has gotten there yet. Um, but uh, with the annual bluegrass weevil, you're going to want to go on the front end with a larvicide uh, or an adulticide. I'm sorry, an adulticide. Uh, reduce those populations and uh, put out a heavier load of chlorantranilipril or Dorentis to get you through the season. Uh, if you're on a Tetrino Soprato Tetrino uh, on your uh, fairways uh, and greens, uh, then this would be a great um, option to mitigate some cost in your rough uh, and give you season-long control. For billbugs, uh, if you have a known billbug issue, uh, you're going to want to go earlier, the better, uh, and you want to add a uh, contact to that like Talstar uh, if, if you have known high populations in an area. So this is Tetrino against a, another diamide out there on white grubs. Uh, it is the uh, white grub diamide. So this is it against another uh, chlorantranilipril product on the market. Um, but you can see where there's three times the active ingredient per gallon, uh, which means it is a third of the rate. Uh, for So if you've used uh, Dorentis in the past, and we'll get to that, but this is a big fear of mine uh, that people are, are going to use that same rate. No, do not use that same rate. I was, for many, many years, a 12-ounce 
uh, per acre guy. If I went out and did this with the rentus, uh, things would get very expensive uh, because at that point I should be with this particular product because it has three times the amount of active ingredient in it. I should be a four ounce per acre guy. So, but with that increased uh, active ingredient in the tank, uh, that means that the product itself is milled finer than the other Chlorantronilla Pro products that are on the market and the inert package is better. So it gives you longer tank stability and uh, get, gets into the plant better and also dissolves in the tank. This is Dorentis versus the competition in soft water on uh, and hard water. And you can see where the Dorentis due to that finer milling and better inert package dissolves better in the tank um, than uh, what the competition there does. Or, uh oh, something popped up. I clicked off of it. There we go. Uh, for you lawn care operators that big uh, fill a big nurse tank and or golf courses that run out of time in the day uh, or end up getting into th thunderstorms and have to push stuff back, this is Dorentis in a tank and we recovered the amount over periods of 72 hours and there was zero uh, change in that product. Uh, leaving it in that tank for two or three days uh, does not reduce the efficacy of that product. It's still there. So with that, uh, the active ingredient, Chlorantronilopril, uh, Dorentis, has translaminar movement. Uh, it is also xylomobile. So the, the minute you spray it, it's going to get into that leaf and give that plant protection. And as it's watered in, it's going to move into the roots and up and give you that uh, season-long con uh, control. So this is a diagram uh, just stating that where if you put it on the leaf and you get no rainfall, that plant's gonna be protected due to that translaminar movement. Uh, if you get a 10th of an inch, uh, to two tenths of an inch, it's going to be right where it needs. There is a very low solubility uh, to this product. So if you get uh, greater than an inch of rainfall, uh, it, it's not gonna matter. It's still gonna be in that area where you need to give it need it to be to give you season long uh, protection. These are the other act, some other active ingredients that are on the market uh, and, and just showing here uh, how much lower our use rate is than other grub control programs uh, that are out there. So uh, in the beginning, that video talked about operator flexibility. Uh, your best time to use this active ingredient is going to be April and May. That gives you the best bang for your buck out of it. It gets your surface feeders in the in the spring and summer there, gets your white grubs through that June, July time that you need to do that and gets those Lepidopteras uh, at the end of the season there, your cutworms, sodweb worms, and uh, fall army worms uh, late, later there in the season. The other great thing about this April, May is uh, if I put something out there that needs to be watered in, uh, if I'm a golf course and I don't have irrigation in my rough, or I'm a lawn care operator and I tell the homeowner, hey, I need you to turn on your irrigation. You know, it, the, the, the golf course doesn't have the uh, irrigation. Uh, the homeowner may have heard it and it went in one ear and out the other, and it doesn't happen. But at that time of year, you, you have a better chance of mother nature uh, doing this uh, for you. So uh, you can let mother nature happen it so many times in June that uh, water shuts off and it just sits on the leaf. And as you guys know, neonicotinoids can be uh, can photodegrade very quickly. Uh, that doesn't happen uh, with the chlorantronella pro with the Dorentis. Uh, so you're you have coverage there twice with mother nature and a better active ingredient. So here are some use rates. Uh, the top part uh, that 1.3. You know, that's 60 days of control. So there is some some options here. Uh, if you're looking for season long into uh, that fall army worm time, you're going to want to be at that four ounce rate. If you're looking for this product to do what you expect it out of imidacloprid or clothiodin, uh, you can sit at that 2.7 ounce rate. 
Uh, you also have the option of adding that 1.3 uh, if you start hearing that our army worms are bad, uh, and that'll give you that time to get that out, increase that control into that 120 day window or into that uh, fall army worm time period. So for that season long through the transition zone, uh, ideally you're going to be at there at the four acre, four ounce per acre rate. Package sizing, uh, this product comes in two sizes, 16 ounce and 64 ounce. Uh, there's four of each of those in the case. Uh, and you can see the price there. It is agency priced at $600 for the 16 ounce and $22.50 for the 64 ounce. So we are running a rebate uh, program at, on our initial launch uh, with this product. If you buy four units of the 16 ounce, you'll get a $90 per unit rebate. If you buy eight or more, four to seven for the $90, eight or more, you get 180. If you buy a case, roughly 100 acres uh, of the 64s, you'll get $675 back per uh, unit, but that brings that cost down to $66. And that is that 2.7 ounce rate. So that is the, uh, the lower rate there. So some of your key wet takeaways that I want you to take from today is that uh, you get surface feeders with this active ingredient. Uh, so you get all white grub uh, control from it and the fall army worm, cut worms and side web worms. So no running out uh, like we did in 2021, trying to scramble up all the bifenthrin left uh, to get it sprayed out there. This will cover you through that. Operator flexibility. You're going to move this into round two. Uh, low impact on pollinators. No signal word for the applicators. Has both systemic and translaminar properties. So the minute you spray it, you're going to have protection. When it gets watered into the soil, it'll have that translaminar movement up and give you season-long coverage through that plant. Uh, this proprietary formulation is the only 600 SC on the market. Uh, with that finer grain uh, ground chloranchinilipro and the better inert uh, package. It is agency priced, so you can get it from the DSR of your choice. Uh, it will be the same uh, regardless. We do have some really good deals on this launch, and there is more information at our landing page, discoverdorentis.com. So these are the states it's registered. Once again, like that first map, it needs updated. Uh, Oregon should be green and Alaska should be green, uh, but we're looking through the transition zone here and probably part of Kansas and Missouri and Virginia uh, and Mississippi on this call or have their fingers crossed, uh, but those states are coming through. Uh, in my territory last week, I just got Kentucky and Michigan, so they're coming quickly. <laughs>